So in this video, we're going to be going digitally shopping. And what we need to do is we need to go shopping for some public on-shape parts, as well as some parts that we're going to find from a website called McMaster Car. Um, so starting off here, uh, we're going to have the hyperlink to the VexIQ arm. And so what we can do in on-shape is we can actually download files and we can end up importing those. So as you can see, I just downloaded this file right here. This is actually the VexIQ crank arm that we're going to be using. Um, and so if I go back into my file here, uh, where we have the trammel toy, what I can do is I can actually go to this plus and I can import 3D files. And so if I actually downloaded this crank arm, I can end up importing that file. I can select import here. And what this allows us to do is actually bring in parts. And so um, as you can see here, it's uploading currently. And right here, this is what had just showed up. It's the VexIQ crank arm. And so if we right click here, we can go to rename. I'm going to call this Vex crank arm. So Vex crank arm. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And then we can go ahead and rename this. We can paste that there. Um, and so now we have this part in our assembly. Uh, one thing that we want to end up doing for this, we've got quite a bit of parts here, right? And so what we can do to kind of help organize everything is I can create a folder. And so what I could do in this is I could put imported parts um, and then I can end up putting that VEX crank arm in there, right? Now, what we're going to do for each of these parts, we're going to put it in that folder to keep things organized. Now, as you can see next, we got the VEX IQ connector pin. And so that's what we need to use next. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press control C here, and then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to actually, instead of going to import, what we want to do is we want to go to our assembly. Now, this is just another way that we can end up finding files. What we can do is we can click insert and I can go to other documents. Now, what I can do is I can actually press this home button and I can search for public parts that are the VEX connector pin. Now it is a one by one connector pin, so we want that. And so now you can see that we find this connector pin. And what I can do is I can bring in two of these. That's how many we need. And so as you can see, it says inserted two. I can press the green check mark, and now we've got these two connector pins in here. Now, that is the first part of this. Uh, what I also want to do is I'm going to bring in that VEX IQ arm as well. Um, and so what I can do is I can go to insert. Now, in terms of this, I actually downloaded that VEX IQ crank arm, right? So I can end up bringing one of those in, green check mark. There we go, we're good to go, all right? So now, in terms of the next part, it's going to be McMaster Car. And so what we can do is, this is the website, uh, McMaster Car. And so uh, what you'll end up doing is you'll go to this website that is here. I will hyperlink this as well uh, in the resources. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to get these four items here from the website. Um, so on McMaster's car website, you can see that there are categories. And what we're going to be using are fasteners, right? And uh, fastening and joining is going to be the category we're going to be under. So we're going to be looking for fasteners. Those fasteners are going to be the socket head screws. And so if I go back here, you'll see that this said screws here. So that's why we clicked on that. Uh, we want socket head screws, right? And so as you can see, it's socket head screws. Now, in terms of that, we want 832 for the thread size. And so what I can do is I can type in here 832. Then we can click on that. Now, in terms of the length, it was one inch in length. And so I can click on that as well. If you also want to select a socket head profile, you could do that too. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go with this first option, which is the alloy steel socket head screws. And we're going to go with the black oxide alloy steel. And now what we can do is you can actually set up an order for these, right? Um, however, what we want to do is we want to download the 3D file. So we can use this website to find 3D part files um, online, and then we can end up importing those into our assembly. And so just as we did before with the VexIQ crank arm, if it's a downloaded file, I can go to the plus sign, I can click import. And then what we can do is we can find that actual file that we had. And so this is that file that I just downloaded, which is our 832 socket head screw. I can click import. And then it's going to end up taking a little bit of time to import. Usually it's a couple seconds or so um, and what we can do is we see that this shows up here right so now what i can do is i can rename this this is 8 30 second uh, socket head so i can rename that i'm going to control a control c to copy i'm going to go over here to this part and i'm going to rename this and then press control v um, and so now we've got this actual file in here and so what i can do is i can click and drag this to my imported parts folder. Um, and so if I end up going back here, I can go to imported parts. I can see that I have my socket head as well as the crank arm. If I press the home button, it'll bring me back to this page. I can go to the assembly. And then now what I can do is I can bring in that socket head screw. So it's 832, one inch long. I need six of those. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go into my assembly. I'm going to click insert. And then within my file, current document, I'm going to select the 832 socket head screws. And I can go one, two, three, four, five, six. As you can see down here, it says inserted six. I can end up clicking on there and then green check mark. And now I can end up using these socket head screws. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and continue with this. Um, another option that I do want to end up mentioning to you is there is a search function as well on McMaster Cars. You can see up here. What you can also do is just search 832 hex nuts, right, for these or five millimeter dowel, 24 millimeters long, you know, so on and so forth for that. But you can click on this. And if I search 832, you're going to see the thread size automatically is going to show up in there. Um, and so what we can do is we can go with this option right here. We can click download. And then what we can do once again is you go back to your assembly, right? You can click import. And then we can end up finding where our hex nut is at. So we got the hex nut right there. I can click import. And then now it's gonna be the case once again, in a couple seconds, it's gonna show up right here. I can right click this and rename this. We can go hex nut, and we're gonna put in there eight hyphen 32. And cause that's the thread. And then we can 
Control A, Control C, and then I'm gonna end up going to rename this Control V so I can save that as Hexnut. Now what I'm gonna do is click and drag this into my imported parts. We can go to the assembly, I can click insert, and then we can bring in the hex nuts. And so we're gonna need three of those guys there. All right, um, continuing, oh, actually we need five. My apologies, five of those. So let's go ahead, let's get back in there. I gotta bring an extra two, one, two, right there. Um, so now we've got five total, green check mark. All right, so for these dowel pins, you'll wanna go ahead and continue. You know, you just go in here, five, millimeter dowel pins you can click that it's going to show up right here you want to select for the diameter to be five millimeters just as we said and then the length in terms of that we want 24 millimeters in length and so you can click right there go ahead and click on this guy you can click download bingo what you can do then is if you go up here to that diameter just deselect five you can end up clearing all so what you might want to do you can select this you can go six millimeter dowel pins so dowel pins can show up here we can type in six millimeter just like that and then 24 millimeters in length whoa there we go. And then you can go ahead and click and download these. Um, and then once again, we've got those two. So we want to be careful. This is our five millimeter, right? Because we download that first and this is the six millimeter. So 364. So we can go in here, import. 364 was the last part of that item number. So that's a five millimeter, right? So we're going to go ahead and import that. I'm going to keep track of this. First one was five millimeters. Now we're going to go ahead and rename this. We can go five millimeter dial pen. And then control A, control C, so we can copy that. I go in here, rename the part, and we want to put five millimeter dial pin. Uh, and so now we can end up bringing that into our assembly. We need two of those, so I'm gonna go one, two, click that right there. And then next, we'd want to end up importing our six millimeter. Um, click import, and we'll go ahead and show you this. And so we want four, five, eight for this one. We're gonna go ahead and click open, import. And then now we're gonna end up saying, it's gonna show up right here. This is our six millimeter dowel pin. Control A, control C. We can go ahead and click on here, rename, put that in there, and then bring it into the assembly. Insert, six millimeter, one, two, boom, bring that over here. I'm gonna end up putting six over on this side, five is gonna be here. Uh, but now we've got all of our parts brought in here, um, and so we can get down to business on actually assembling this trammel toy. Uh, but that's how we import parts from either public files or also big master car. Hope that was helpful. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, please drop them in the comments. As always, please like and subscribe, show some support. Catch you all in the next video, bye-bye.